ただいまご紹介いただきました慶應義塾真壁でございます都合により英語でお話しさせていただきたいというふうに思います Allow me to speak in English. This is Toshiaki Makabe, Vice President for Research Professor, Keio University. University, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to this symposium organized by the Graduate School of Media Governance and Faculty of Policy Management and Faculty of Environmental Information Studies, all of Keio University. I also would like to express a warm welcome to our overseas participants who have traveled long distances to Tokyo. Let me explain a little about Keio University. Keio has a proud history as Japan's very first private institution of higher education. Which dates back to the establishment of a small school for Dutch studies in 1858. As you know well, by founded by Yukichi Fukuzawa. After 156 years, Keio has 10 faculties and 14 graduate schools with 30. 3,000 students. From letters to medicine, from economics to science and technology, and from law and political science to pharmacy, etc. Fukuza left many words and mottoes related to democracy and people. For example, It is said, heaven does not create one man above or below another man. National independence through personal independence, and independence and self respect. All these reflect s his idea that it was necessary for Japan. To foster i n d i v i d u a l with the spirit of equality and freedom. At present, I think his mottoes will form a message to the global society in the world. As is well known, the 20th century was opened by the quantum theory. There was An unfortunate event based on the quantum mechanics in the World War II, but now the development of the microelectronics has made a society of information communication technology. And it was produced a global society. In such a global society, Information can be instantly shared. Now, the geopolitical situations have been drastically changed. At present, in the 21st century, our desire can't stop at all, and the development of ICT is even accelerating towards the world of opt electronics with a Super high speed and large capacity. On the other hand, the rapid development of the economy has brought various problems such as global warming due to the rapid increase of carbon dioxide and the ozone destruction due to the spread of hydrogen. Compounds in the stratosphere and the depression of fossil energy. We are now facing the great challenge of the sustainability of our Earth. When we redesign the modern global society, I believe it is reasonable to give a clue to solve 
complicated and difficult problems which often demand compromises by using the polity studies and as well as the pure natural science cooperatively. And such a way should bring us to the global standard. It means a significant contribution of the interdisciplinary or transdisciplinary research to the sustainability of the earth based on the strengthened exp expertise is one of the mainstream of our research. Last September, United Nations General Assembly adopted the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals. The goals aim to build on the work on the historical Millennium Development Goals in 2000. We will highly expect the new agenda for the sustainability of the economy, society, and environmental of people, all of the United Nations member states. The goals really mean the sustainability of our spaceship Earth. The today's symposium is that of the final report of the project on the sustainability of the transformation beyond 2015, organized by the project leader, Professor Kanie. His project has been support, supported for three years by the Ministry of Environment of Japan as its strategic research, I understand. More than 50 researchers participate in the project from 15 inland research institutions and approximately 40 overseas researchers join the project. In closing, I would like to appreciate the organizers, Professor Kanie and United Nations Universities, the Institute for Advanced Study of Sustainability, and the keynote speaker, Mr. Takemi of the member of the House of Councillors, and all the distinguished panel members. Thanks for the co-organizers Ministry of Env Environment of Japan and the University of Tokyo, Kyushu University, and the Institute of Global Environmental St Strategies. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>